Hey, my name is Mero. I'm 44 years, 44 years old. I'm from Kaneohe, Hawaii. I'm at Habilitat, place of change. I'm uh, here to get my life back in order. I remember the first time I got high, I was in the seventh grade. I experienced with, uh, experimented with marijuana and alcohol for the first time. And uh, my life took a turn from there. I grew up here in Kaneohe, and as a kid, I used to love to do sports and uh, hang out with my friends in the neighborhood and go hiking and body surfing and whatnot in our beaches in Hawaii. And once I experimented with drugs, my life took a turn for the worse. My grades began declining. Um, began getting in trouble with the law at an early age. Been in and out of detention homes, foster homes. Um, eventually, I ended up going to a youth prison at the age of 16. I ended up uh, experimenting with harder drugs at a later age. At age 18, I began experimenting with uh, cocaine and became severely addicted. Eventually, I uh, got in trouble with the law again, and I wound up in prison for the first time. As I was growing up, I uh, just really disappointed a lot of people, I let down a lot of people. I became a, a son that uh, people wish they didn't have at times. I became uh, the next door neighbor that you didn't want, didn't want next door to you. I became the guy that uh, you'd see riding in the back of police cars going down the street. And I pretty much threw my life away for the things that I, that I thought were, you know, were good, which was drugs and alcohol and going out with, with uh, so-called friends. I had uh, ended up picking up a felony charge at the age of 22 for a um, stolen vehicle. At that same age, I got uh, introduced to crystal methamphetamine, also known as ice. I began smoking it at that age, and it wasn't too long. I just got just got uh, wiped out. Everything in my life just went completely uh, down to nothing. I ended up homeless, sleeping on the streets. Uh, I began a life of crime. So at the age of 22, I began, began uh, my descent into what would be a long journey into <laughs> just a life of chaos. I uh, got addicted to crystal methamphetamine, also known as ice. And at age 22, I got incarcerated in prison for the first time and began just going, just doing the revolving door thing, a cycle of uh, in and outs, in and outs. And I eventually wound up doing two years, the first time for that charge. I broke, I violated my probation. I ended up back inside. Uh, eventually I did five years. I was eventually, again, I got incarcerated for another felony charge of possession of drugs. Uh, while I was incarcerated and I continued just my vicious cycle of just not caring about nothing. I had no uh, no goals, nothing in my life. I had no direction. Um, I basically had no self-worth, no self-esteem. I had um, pretty much uh, squandered all the I don't know, the resources in my life, good people, good friends, family. You know, family didn't want nothing to do with me. People didn't want nothing to do with me. Society didn't want nothing to do with me. So the judge incarcerated me for a term of five years. So between the age of 22 and give or take a couple years, 32 or so, I, uh, I did a total of seven years of incarceration time. After I got out in 1999, I actually did really well. For four and a half years, I, I remained sober. I um, managed to get married, have two kids, and then I, I uh, picked up again, and things just got worse. You know, I tried, I, I've tried everything from meetings to reading books to uh, little short-term programs. I've tried everything, but I never did uh, adjust the behavioral parts of my life, you know, the, the things that led up to my, my active using. Um, I guess one of the hardest things that I've uh, had to dealt, deal with as uh, coming to here to Habilitat was like dealing with my, my behavioral issues. Um, 
I managed to just allow myself to become a very angry and bitter person. I uh, pretty much ran a reckless, reckless life. So, you know, coming to Habilitat and, and dealing with these things and confronted with the issues on a daily basis, and sometimes from, from minute to minute, hour to hour throughout my day here, um, it's, it's, it's challenging for me. It, uh, Habilitat raises the bar in my life on a daily basis and, and expects me to hold myself to a higher standard. And it's been challenging and it's been awesome. It's been an awesome ride here. Um, when, I, when I came here, you know, coming to terms with myself about the, the people that I've disappointed in my life, um, not being the son that I should have been, not being the husband that I should have been, the friend that I should have been, the father that I should have been. Um, those things are turning around for me now. And I'm expecting nothing but, but uh, to, be, to just grow up after I get out of here. You know, as I'm, as I'm coming through this program, I'm being taught how to grow up and put away those things in my life that I thought were, uh, you know, like the fun. You know, everything was just about, uh, having fun, fun, you know, no responsibilities. And that, don't get me wrong, there were times in my life where I did become uh, successful for a little bit, you know, the, had the house, the kids, the dog, uh, even had a position as a foreman in my company at one point. I did traveling, I, uh, you know, I did things, people, things that uh, I never thought I'd see myself doing, but then once I slipped, it all, you know, it's, uh, I just progressed from one point to another and just declined from that point on. But, um, you know, as I'm as I'm here, coming out of a uh, coming straight out of prison, um, which I picked up another third felony charge as an adult. I'm I'm like uh, this is like this is it. It's, you know, make it or break it time, and uh, this is where the rubber meets the road for me. So I'm uh, I'm just utilizing this opportunity. You know, it's like looking back upon my life and seeing what I've become and knowing what I want to be. That's where I'm. That's where I'm heading for now. You know, setting goals for myself, um, looking at looking at uh, opportunities, and utilizing the chances that I have here, and making the best of it each day. Habilitat is an awesome ride. Sobriety is an awesome ride. I wouldn't give this up for my uh, best day out there. My worst day in here is, doesn't even compare. And I. Uh, I guess I'm, you can see I'm growing up and building a, an attitude of gratitude along the way. So looking back at my track record, I uh, think about some of the things that I've been through in my life and it's been a, uh, it's not, hasn't been an easy, hasn't been easy to look in the mirror of my life and reflect upon the things that I've done in my life and the things that I've experienced because of drugs and alcohol. like. Numerous suspensions from, from uh, middle school and high school. I was uh, almost, uh, almost kicked out of one school. My grades completely just declined. Um, I had a total of uh, 16 trips to the detention boys' home, the boys' detention home, um, multiple arrests as a, as a juvenile, and then as a, as a um, in the total, the sum total of everything, there was a uh, total of 35 priors leading up to this point before Habilitat, and um, there was homelessness. There was there was intravenous drug use. There was a, a loss of marriage, my family, my children, um, the divorce. Um, there was a time where I, I was stabbed five times, and I was in the hospital room, and just, I just remember like it just felt like my life was over. You know, with all the, with all the use and everything, but you know, there was there, for some reason I just never wanted to stop, and I uh, I don't know. As I look back now, you know, it's not uh, it's not easy to look at those things. You know, uh, losing my dignity, um, people's respect, people's trust. But as I'm as I'm as I'm uh, going through the program, those things are being rebuilt in my life. This is like a process of being, of rebuilding right now and restoration and restoring things that were, that were lost and working to, I guess, build myself a better life upon maybe, you know, just making a, a firm foundation this time and, and growing from there. I don't know, I guess if there was, 
there's one thing I could change in the past is I'd probably take back all the hurt that I've done to people. Um, but you can't change the past. The only thing we can really do is make the best of what's happening today and set our sights on, a, on the hopes of the future. And uh, being here at Habilitat, there's lots of hope. Yeah, there's lots of hope today.